I'm gonna build Duolingo in just 33 minutes using Lovable AI. It's gonna include a sign-up page, a logging page. It's gonna have six different languages. It's gonna have many different lessons. It's gonna have an XP system and much, much more. So stay tuned. I'm gonna start immediately with a timer now. So we start the timer, go to ChatGPT, ask, describe Duolingo as an MVP. Then we're gonna wait for a response from ChatGPT. We're gonna feed that MVP description right into Lovable AI to get a really good start on our Duolingo app. So there we go, key features, why it worked. Um, we don't need all of those, so we'll just copy copy the first part here and then we'll go to the dashboard and then we'll paste it right in here. So make this and now it's spinning up the preview, how we're doing for time. There we go. Four minutes, spinning up the preview. Let's go. Yeah, only four minutes. That's all it took. It's gonna start now. And let's see what we get. Boom, all right. We got an error immediately, but let's fix it. Lingo learn, okay. So that works. Index page doesn't work. Or does it? There we go. All right, we're up and running. Let's go. So it only took five minutes and 21 seconds roughly to get started. Now let's select a language, let's say Italian. Ready to learn, get started. Um, all right, three day streak, zero XP. Let's uh, get started with the basics here. Um, well, I already selected a language, didn't I? All right. Every time I click on, it's not really taking me into a lesson it looks like, which we're gonna fix. So as soon as I click basics to get started with the lesson, I get rerouted to the index page. Please create a lesson view that follow, uh, that actually teaches me all six languages you've provided me with. All right, so we're gonna ask you to do that. So as you can see, I ran into an error immediately and it was a little buggy to begin, but now hopefully it has uh, edited and made sure that our lesson view actually works. Let's see if we get an error or if the build is complete. Kind of looks like the build is complete. Let's try to learn Italian again. It takes us to the dashboard and there we go. Now we're started. So hello is ciao. Great job. That's correct. Continue. Uh, Arrivederci. I think that's, yeah, there we go. Goodbye. Perfect. Match the pairs. Thank you. Per favor. Please. Grazie. Yes. See. No. No. Thank you. Grazie. There we go. So there we matched it. Perfect. Complete the sentence. Come. See. No. Me. T. All right. Well, I wasn't so good at that one. And uh, uh, come stai. I think that's. I think that's how are you. There we go. Perfect. Lesson complete with confetti and everything. That's awesome. All right. Continue. And what happens next? All right. So. Basically, we got a basic version of uh, Duolingo pretty fast. We're on the nine minute timer now. However, it didn't unlock the next step. So let's make sure it unlocks the next step every time. Uh, and then we'll consider the MVP kind of finished. Let's see. Every time, time I finish a lesson slash section, I want to unlock the next section. When I finish basics one now, I never unlock basics to fix it. All right, so we got an error here. Um, we got an error somehow, and uh, it's error in the code, but as well as saying that it's, it's failing to save progress. So we're probably gonna have to add some kind of user functionality in order to save progress, maybe. Okay, it fixed it, let's try again, ciao, perfect. Arrivederci, perfect. Uh, thank you. Grazie, please. Per favore. Yes. Si. No, no. <laughs> I feel like the, the matches aren't working at all. Like this, this number is a little buggy, so <laughs> we probably have to fix that. Otherwise, it looks good. Conti. Correct. Well done. The stepper looks good. Come stai. It's good. Lesson complete. 50 XP. So we got more XP because we got more right. So that makes sense. It actually has integrated a XP uh, system in the game. Quite impressive. Now, there we go. Basics. So now that I fixed the error, it is now 100% completed basics one. Uh, let's see, can we complete basics two? 
We also got a one one day streak. All right, so it looks like lesson not found. So we basically got to create lessons for every, ev every single block. So let's do that. Create lessons for basics to food, animals, and clothing for all six languages you have provided me with in the Duolingo app. So now I'm gonna build that. Let's see what we're doing for time. We're currently at 13 minutes. I think we're gonna be able to get like sign in and um, like actually authentication and saving, saving progress done for a basic version of the app before 20 minutes. Let's see. So now I'm gonna start writing a prompt that actually starts preparing for a signing page. So I'm gonna write while it builds, please build a sign in and sign up page that logs in an existing user or creates a new one. Once the user is logged in, navigate to index and show languages available and also show which language the user has already made progress with. Now let's maybe split that as two, two different paragraphs. Uh, is there anything else we kind of want in here? I'm not sure. Well, if we can keep all the lessons, yep. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's good enough for an MVP. So we're currently at 15 minutes to build up a basic MVP of this. Okay, it's saving right now. So when it's done saving, it's created all the lessons. Then we're going to create the sign-up system and finish the app. All right, so it added new lessons. It should work now, so hopefully basics two. There we go. So right now we actually got basics two to work. Seems like it's kind of giving me the correct answer, like right next to each other. So it's, the matches, again, the matches number here, not really working. and. Um, 3,000, it's kind of counting the points versus matches. So we got to fix that. And it seems like the right answer is always at the very, very, very top, funnily enough. So that's something we got to fix. But however, the XP system works, which is really cool. And we now have progress. There we go. So you have progress going through the application. So the last thing seems like all the lessons seems to work. Let's check the other languages as well. Let's try French. And once we've tried French, there we go. So French works. And let's kind of check the uh, Spanish also. And if the Spanish works, we're going to paste and let it build. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to paste this prompt now to build a sign-in page. And then we're going to connect the database. We're currently at 17, and 10, 17 minutes and 10 seconds to build this Duolingo clone. And maybe I'm actually going to write a prompt here to redesign the, what's it called? The dashboard, dashboard UI so that the lessons lesson path looks more like the real Duolingo app, meaning we want each lesson to be a node that is either locked or unlocked. And it is clear that past lessons are unlocked and clear that the current node we're on is the current lesson. You can use the same lesson emojis just make a vertical timeline with round nodes with icons in them as the UI. And then the user traverses through this timeline by scrolling. By default, the window focuses on the current node, which is the current lesson the user is on. And then the user can scroll to the past or to the future to <clears throat> um, explore lessons. There we go. So we're going to save this prompt. Now it's done. So uh, I don't think this will work. We're going to have to connect Superbase. I'm going to save this prompt right here. And then I'm going to connect Superbase by clicking Superbase here. If it's your first time doing this, um, it's going to take a little more. You have to do some setup. But since I've done this before, it's going to be easier. I'm going to create a new Superbase project. I'm going to call it Duolingo. So I'm going to continue with GitHub here. All right. And then maybe I need some kind of extra authentication here. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, let's create a new project. Duolingo. Type in database. <laughs> Please don't hack me. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. That's fine. I'll just uh, type a small password there and no one will know. It's all in circles. Someone, data bridge, no bueno. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. It's connected. We're going to connect this one. There we go. In, in lovable. Perfect. It's connected. I have to set up here. I think authentication is very important here that you have some policies. Uh, let's see. There's some, some setup that might need, might need doing here. Database is here. Schema, roles, I think should be here. And policies, sign in, sign up. Allow new users, manual linking, email enabled. Perfect. We don't want a confirmation email or a secure email change. Um, so we'll just uncheck those because those cause some errors in the application. So we're just going to keep it simple by unchecking confirm email. And then we're going to go back to our project. Back to project. Uh, and then we're going to say connect my Superbase database to this application so that I can successfully sign up to uh, create a user and that all lesson and language uh, progress is saved on the account I'm currently signed into. Create all necessary tables, database tables. There we go. Perfect. Let's see if it does that. 
And we're gonna check out the time. We're currently at 22 minutes. It's creating all the database tables right now. Apply changes. Not gonna review any of the data. I'm just gonna say go ahead because um, I'm speed running this, but uh, looks good, hopefully. There we go. It's saying changes. Error, build on successful, try to fix it. Go, All right, it's done. Let's see if we get an error, if it's good. Looks like it's good, so let's check it out. Uh, so let's let's sign up here. Let's give my name, Matt. I'll just, oh, exposing my email real quick. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go, sign up. There we go. <laughs> Once you need to say the password, perfect. And then we're going to get started with Spanish. Yes, and we're going to just go through a lesson and see if it saves it when I refresh the page. Yes. If that's true, then... Uh, oh, there we go. The right. Oh, shit. That's the wrong one. Uh, por favor, please. Si, yes. No, no. There we go. The match numbers are still a little bit messed up. We can change that later. That's not that important for the MVP. It's good enough. Continue. Uh, buenos dias. Yes. How are we doing for time? We're at 27 minutes almost. Oh, please sign in to access this page. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed up. Um, all right. Ah, oh, continue learning. There we go. We can see that even when refreshing, it saves the progress. So if we continue learning them, click the basics. We still have to start from the beginning of the lesson, but it's the right lesson, hopefully. So let's see if we can actually go through one lesson here. 40 XP, awesome, continue, perfect. And if we refresh here, see we have Spanish 80 XP and we can see perfect, perfect. And if we sign out and then sign in again, sign in, that's not quite working, is it? And there we go, sign in. We're gonna sign in again, n.com, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, sign in. Perfect, so sign in seems to work. And then we have, uh, can we continue to learn? Yes, we can, it looks really great. So last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna try to redesign the timeline so it looks more like Duolingo. Um, keep all functionality the same. Is, is the last thing I'm going to add. I don't want them to mess with any functionality in this current prompt. Right now, we're going to rebuild the dashboard of um, the lessons to more of a timeline and see if that works. We're going to try to do that before we hit the timer 30 minutes. Let's see what happens. There we go. Seems like it's redesigned it. Hopefully, this works. So if we click Spanish, I kind of redesigned it like a timeline, but it's not as nice. So what we're going to want to do is basically remove the cards. It still kept the cards a little. It doesn't look that great, but hey, it's, it's getting better. It's getting better. Last prompt we're going to say is center, center the timeline and make the cards to the left describing the lesson look like speech bubbles. All right, seems like it's done. So let's check out Spanish again. Let's see if it centered the timeline. It did, kind of, the speech bubbles. They look a little bit better now. Looks more like an application. Uh, I don't like the... Uh... Yeah, I, I don't like the current design that it has like a scroll bar like that. I don't like that at all, but we could fix that. But this is probably good enough to a Duolingo MVP. This looks like the timeline we have. It looks a little bit mobile responsive. So it could probably work for mobile phones. Let's check. There we go. Look at that. Looks smooth. Really, really, really smooth. So that's responsive and nice. Let's look how it looks here. Perfect. Yeah, and if I sign up and try to sign in, Get back to the sign up page. Can log in, log in again, and m.com. And when one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we can sign in again. Close, never, and there we go. Perfect. Looks good. Very good. All right. That is our Duolingo MVP. We built it in 33 minutes, roughly. Very well done. Um, just amazing how fast you can build things today with lovable AI. Now, if I had more time building this, I'd probably fix way more bugs, make the design even prettier, probably add more lessons, and maybe add some more features. Now, if you want to build big things with lovable AI, you don't want to miss this next video. It outlines three key mistakes most beginners make when they build a big project with lovable AI. So click on this next video right here, and I'll see you there.